While growing up in small town Minnesota, Marion Ross would brave walking across frozen ice to get to a theater for that chance to have a movie transport her to a different world. I think we can all relate. Today, the very thought of Marion instantly transports us to warm and nostalgic memories of watching her in our favorite iconic TV series, Happy Days. She was the mom, Mrs. C, as Fonzie used to call her, and the one person he let call him Arthur. And oh my gosh, what fun was it to watch her interact with Ron Howard, playing her son, Richie. Indeed, these past two years have been a reminder of the amazing role that classic entertainment television plays in helping us escape and find laughter, even the most challenging of times. Marion ultimately had a dream come true at the age of 22 when she was signed by Paramount Studios for live TV at CBS in Life with Father. She even got to perform in Blythe Spirit live at CBS with Sir Noel Coward, Claudette Colbert, and the legendary Lauren Bacall. Her many credits include having starred in the acclaimed television series Brooklyn Bridge, for which she was nominated for an Emmy and was a two-time winner for Best Comedy Actress of the Year by viewers for quality television. She also won a Golden Globe nomination for her role as Rosie in the movie The Evening Star with Shirley MacLaine. We remember her as Drew Carey's mom on The Drew Carey Show, the feisty matriarch on The Gilmore Girls, and the terrible mother-in-law on that 70s show. She also played Sally Field's mother on Brothers and Sisters and Leslie Nielsen's wife in the movie Superhero. And did you know she was the one who gave voice to SpongeBob SquarePants' grandma and Mrs. Lopart on Handy Manny? I love that show. Marion has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and a performing arts center named in her honor that includes a life-size bronze sculpture of her. Today, the Library of American Broadcasting Foundation proudly congratulates Marion Ross as a giant of broadcasting. First of all, I want to thank you so much for honoring me. It was so wonderful to be part of American broadcasting early television. I want you to know that when we started to do Life with Father, that was live at CBS, audience out there, all right, you cannot make a mistake, all right, then Years go by, now we're gonna do Happy Days, and we start to film uh, like, a, like a movie. No audience out there. And then it occurs to us that it would be a lot more fun if we had an audience out there. And so now they became a very visceral part, and you could hear them laughing out there, and we would play to that audience. It was so much fun. We mostly, us older actors, had been already trained on the stage, so we were used to having an audience out there playing with that audience. Now here's Ron Howard. He's not used to having an audience out there, but they fell in love with him, he fell in love with them. It was just thrilling. We had such a life going on there because we're sitting backstage in our little chairs waiting we're all gathered together in our costumes, in our makeup. Audience is out there. They're waiting for the show to start. And we're sitting there so calmly and being good. And then t Tom, would, he would start talking and he'd say the, the, to the other cast, you know your mother, this and that. She did. And I said, Tom, I'm really not their mother. <laughs> we had so much fun together. I thank you all for being out there. The history of broadcasting is so important. Look what you created. It's so important for me to be a part of your broadcasting museum and your library of things. I, I want to go myself and spend a whole day with you and watch and look at things that I've put on film. It's just thrilling. I thank you so much for this honor. I just can't wait to get this big bowl home and I'll put some wonderful things in there and think of you all the time. All you broadcasters, I wanna thank you very much for this wonderful honor. I am so proud to be a part of you all.